Welcome back to the Haunted Basement Studio. I'm your host, Triple B, Brent Bromberg. And in this hardcore comic book unboxing video, I got home and this box was sitting there waiting for me. And it's beautiful, just like you. You look absolutely amazing today. Now let me get my trusty knife and let's rip this open. And how are all you doing today? I hope you guys are having a wonderful one. Let's see what we got. We got more peanuts. All right, man, I got them out of that bath of peanuts. And I got two Geminis here that are this jack to the tits, full as hell. I'm just gonna randomly grab one of these and open them up. Every book in there is a mystery. I have no idea what it is. Now join me as we go through these books and see what mystery goodies we can find. All right, man, I am so excited for this. Got another Dynamite Mystery 10 pack plus three other books. So let's check them out. I'm always gonna look and see if I can get an FOC or an Incendium cover. It says it's a cover C. Yes, dude, it's a Barbarella. Is this the, nope, this is the volume like two, I think. This isn't the center cannot hold. Man, issue number seven, that's perfect because I can add this to the run because I know I do not have issue number seven. All right, man, we got to cover A. Oh man, is that a Vampirilla? It's a holiday special Vampirilla with a Joseph Michael Linzer cover. Man, that thing is absolutely stunning. Holy crap, just popping that collar up. Hell yeah, Vampy, you look sexy as hell on this cover. Which one? What year is it? I wonder. 2021 maybe special. Oh man, the holiday special. Hell yeah, dude. I love Vampirilla. What do we got next? We got a cover C. And it's a Red Sithia. Yeah, Red Sonia right there. Red Sitha. Issue number two. Nice. I do not have this cover. And what's awesome about these 10 packs is that even if I have the issue, I most likely don't have the cover. And I can just add those to the run and put them in the long box. Absolutely gorgeous. Hell yeah. All right, man. What do we got next? Still looking for that incentive. Or... We got the FOC bonus cover right here. Now let's look at it together. Oh, yeah. It's a Jennifer Blood. Yes, I love this series. This is issue number five. I wonder what volume it is, though, because I think there's two volumes. No, this is that first volume right there. Oh, man, that thing is rad. Hell, yeah. Jennifer Blood FOC cover. All right, man, what do we got next? Says it's a cover A. Oh, my God. Hell, yeah. A Draculina blood sample. Man, she's this holding her hand out it's like mesmerizing you it's like hypnotizing you telling you to come here oh man hell yeah that thing is awesome i love draculina i have that whole i don't think i have the whole series of blood simple i am missing a couple and that's issue number six and i don't think i have issue number six so hell yeah all right man what do we got next we got a cover c what is it kiss it's a kiss what Phantom Sessions, maybe that's what it is. Issue number five. Whoa, this is not new. I know that. This has got to be a little bit old. I don't think they have a Kiss series going on right now. No, I think it may have been from 2022. Man, it is so dark in the haunted basement studio. But man, I think that's my very first Kiss comic book. Because I know I don't have any of these. And that's cool because that's another one I can start collecting. That's why I pick up these mystery 10 packs. And I hope you come along with the journey with me to see if we can complete runs just by buying these mystery 10 packs because I have already I've completed a few and it's awesome. Oh my God, is that a Rachel Holland Barbarella cosplay cover? It is, oh man. Oh. What is it? Oh, number four. Man, she's taking my breath away. Miss Holland, you are sexy. All right, man. What do we got next? Dude, it says it's an FOC bonus cover K. Oh, yeah. Let's see what it is together. It's a Nyx. Oh, man. I love getting these 
FOC next cover man that thing is rad holy shit dude issue number four I do not have that cover at all man I didn't even a nice FOC cover and it's in great condition and they say it's a reader pack but man this thing is awesome and I'm gonna throw it in my bags and boards I'm gonna put that one with the next oh man that thing is sweet all right man we got two more mystery uh out of the mystery 10 packs right here and we got a 007 yes it's issue number d all right this is the ian fleming run this is number six. Oh man that's perfect because i don't have issue number six and i've been collecting these ones oh and it's in great condition and that color on this one just pops man yeah we got no babes of chaos or babes covered in blood but man this is a great series and such a great read. So go check out 007. Man, we got one more. It's got a different type of back on it. Well, let's take a look at it. To oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah, dude. We got an Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, issue number two, baby. Oh, is that a Linzer cover? It is. And that is absolutely perfect because... This is a series of Elvira that I do not have all the issues. I need to complete these ones. Her new volumes that have been coming out on Dynamite, I got them all, man. But this one, I do not. So this is freaking perfect. Hell yeah. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, issue number two. That thing is stunning. All right, man. We got three more books here. And I love that sticker on it. Let's check them out. They're all going to be the same but different covers and i don't know what to, oh man dude oh we're gonna start off hot with the rachel holland new enhancement cover right there oh man she's licking that sword oh that is absolutely gorgeous man she is stunning look at that body man i love these cosplayers and rachel holland has stepped it up a notch she is beautiful, and this cover is absolutely beautiful. And this is issue number two of the Savage Red Sonia. All right, we got another Savage Red Sonia issue number two. Oh my God! Woo! Holy dynamite, man! That thing is absolutely stunning, man. Look at the bust on her holy crap that is a frank cho cover right there man oh, that thing is gorgeous i do not know how i'm gonna do the cover showdown but what's the last book oh my god another savage red sonia and it's a joseph michael linzer cover right that has to be man maybe i'm wrong nope i can see a signature right there hell yeah this thing is absolutely stunning as well Woo! man i don't know how i'm gonna have to go through all those books and figure out which ones were the best covers for us cover lovers <laughs> and we're gonna do the cover showdown right now now those weren't the only one in that box but those are going to be held off for a later video because i don't want to keep you here all day i want to get you on your way so how the cover showdown works i'm going to put up three covers on the screen cover a cover b and cover c and all you got to do is tell me in the comment section below which one's your favorite and i'll tell you mine at the end of the video and remember there's no wrong answer all right, man, cover A is going to be Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, issue number two with the Linzer cover. And man, she just looks absolutely beautiful. All right, and then next we're going to have Nyx. Oh, man, this is a Danny cover with the colors by Samson or Simpson, it says. And this thing is absolutely gorgeous by Brad Simpson and the cover by danny is what it says d-a-n-y and that thing man i love nicks and i had to throw her up on the cover showdown especially with a badass foc bonus cover and then we're gonna have to get the savage red sonia up there with issue number two with the frank cho cover and man that thing is absolutely stunning and i didn't even realize all the blood that's dripping all over her man i do not know how i'm gonna pick you guys tell me in the comment section below right now all right get those off the screen 
All right, my favorite of the cover showdown is going to have to go to cover C. Right there, Frank Cho took one down. Red Sonia, the savage one, man. That thing is absolutely gorgeous. I didn't know which one I was going to pick until I recorded this. And that's just the one that I picked. So I hope you all enjoyed me in the Haunted Basement Studio. Remember to hit that like button with the bell so you can join me on my journey of trying to fill in all these dynamite titles so i can read them all and i absolutely love it just like i love you and you remember you keep it hardcore comics the detective hears this and from behind when they're falling on the ground he tases michael and she falls on the ground and that's when ruby and now the the psychic comes back in and she's like telling the detective that there's a demon in her and we can let's keep her sedated let's keep her knocked out because then we can transfer the demon out of her this is where the story is going so if we can sedate her enough then we can just transfer it over or if not she uh, they can just kill her and then the demon dies but they don't want to kill michael and as they let her slowly like come back where it's Mi it's Michael and not the demon um, they come to the realize like let's transfer the demon into my dad he's the one that gave this to me and he's about to get lethal eject that definitely was a fun one tell me about those comics and tell me about that video at the end and if you like that watch that one down right there I guarantee you'll love it and you guys look amazing today and beautiful. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Laters.